This is to be jumped, the starter on the top of his rostrum, and that's it. He dispatches them, and they're away towards the first. After call on the near side, with King's Fountain on the far side. After call, lands in the lead from King's Fountain, the Quilifer, and the Grey City Entertainer. Just in behind them, Mr. Entertainer, I should call him. And now the first of the ditches already. Arctic call from King's Fountain, Aquilifer, and Mr. Entertainer. Norton's coin has gone there. Norton's coin, a bad mistake. He's, and Henry Mann has gone as well. They went independently. And so the field would use very sharply, very early as they come down towards the third fence. Arctic call the leader from King's Fountain. Mr. Entertainer on the near side, Aquilifer on the far side. Tipping Tim comes next, and then Sparkling Flame. And uh, looking down the course, walking back. Uh, Adrian Maguire and Henry Mann's rider Graham McCourt and Arctic call the leader from King's Fountain on the inside of Mr. Entertainer. A little gap then to Aquilifer with on his outside tipping Tim and uh, finally Sparkling Flame. Arctic call from King's Fountain, Mr. Entertainer. Tipping Tim, Aquilifer and Sparkling Flame. Number four of the 19 fences, Arctic Call the leader from Mr. Entertainer and King's Fountain matching strides. Behind them come Tipping Tim and Aquilifa, and finally Sparkling Flame. Arctic Call at the fifth from King's Fountain and Mr. Entertainer. Then Tipping Tim, Aquilifa, and Sparkling Flame. This is a ditch they're coming to now, number six. Arctic Call, King's Fountain and Mr. Entertainer. Those three from Aquilifer, who doesn't jump it too well, makes a bad mistake, Aquilifer. Tipping Tim has just gone by him. Sparkling Flames going up, sides him. And at the seventh, Arctic Call, King's Fountain, Mr. Entertainer, who's lost a little bit of ground in third. Then Tipping Tim, Aquilifer and Sparkling Flame. King's Fountain going on now. King's Fountain from Arctic Call and Mr. Entertainer in third. Four is Tipping Tim, five Sparkling Flame and six Aquilifer. Coming to the eighth, King's Fountain, the leader at the eighth from Arctic Call, who jumps it well in third is Mr. Entertainer, then Tipping Tim and Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Turning into the straight on this first circuit, King's found in the leader from Arctic Call and Mr. Entertainer and Tipping Tim and Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Aquilifer getting closer once again over the ninth. King's found in Arctic Call and Mr. Entertainer from Tipping Tim and Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Third of the ditches, King's found in the leader from Arctic Call on the far side, Mr. Entertainer and Tipping Tim, then Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Now this will be the last next time round. It's number 11 this time, and King's found in the leader from Arctic Call on the far side, Mr. Entertainer, Tipping Tim going well over on the far side, and then Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. So they go out on another circuit with Arctic Call and King's Fountain pretty well matching strides ahead of Tipping Tim, just shading King's Fa Mr. Entertainer, and then comes Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Arctic Call with Mark Richards deputising for the injured uh, Jamie Osborne. Just uh, shaded once again by King's Fountain with Tipping Tim third and Mr. Entertainer fourth. Mr. Entertainer with uh, Graham Bradley substituting on that one. Coming to number 13, King's Fountain, Arctic Call, Tipping Tim and Mr. Entertainer, then Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. The fourth of the ditches, King's Fountain and Arctic Call from Mr. Entertainer and Tipping Tim, then Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Five from home. Arctic Call, King's Fountain, Mr. Entertainer, 
who hit that one, tipping Tim on the inside, then Sparkling Flame and Aquilifer. Four left to jump now. King's Fountain, the leader from Arctic Call, tipping Tim and Mr. Entertainer. Then Aquilifer and Sparkling Flame, King's Fountain has the advantage over Arctic Call. King's Fountain lands in the lead from Arctic Call, tipping Tim and Mr. Entertainer. Then comes Sparkling Flame, rounding the home turn now, with just three fences left to jump in the Martell Cup. And King's Fountain from Arctic Call. Then comes tipping Tim and Mr. Entertainer at the third last. King's Fountain is the clear leader from Arctic Call, tipping Tim and Mr. Entertainer. King's Fountain from Arctic Call, Mr. Entertainer and Tipping Tim coming down now towards the second last. This is a final ditch and it's King's Fountain the leader from Arctic Call. King's Fountain and Arctic Call almost together there. Then Mr. Entertainer and Tipping Tim and behind then Sparkling Flame coming down to the last and Arctic Call's gone back into the lead. Arctic Call on the far side, King's Fountain on the near side, Tipping Tim's moved into third. Coming down to the final fence now and Arctic Call with the advantage over King's Fountain. Arctic Call comes to it. Oh, he's nearly gone. He's very nearly won. He's unshipped his partner. He's gone. He's left King's Fountain the winner as they race up towards the line. King's Fountain goes on to win it. It's going to be close for second. Tipping Tim and Sparkling Flame in a photo for second as they come to the line. It's a photo between them. But King's Fountain has won it from Sparkling Flame and Tipping Tim with Mr. Entertainer fourth and fifth came Aquilifer and... Mark Richards up on his feet all right but obviously very fed up he made a shocking mistake there Arctic Call he gave uh, Mark Richards very little chance of recovery so the result of the Martell Cup first number one Kings Fountain owned by Mr E.J. Banks trained by Kim Bailey and written by Anthony Torrey who of course rides Docklands Express on Saturday and it's a photo for second, a photo between number seven Sparkling Flame and number eight Tipping Tim with fourth number five Mr Entertainer. It was a game of changing fortunes, but you'd have thought now going to the last that this fellow had got it, but he went right into the bottom. Now watch, as he lands, the saddle hits him up the backside. Look, there it goes, and out goes Mark like a cannonball out of a cannon. What he must be feeling now, I couldn't repeat even if I knew, because it wouldn't be very favourable. Bad luck, he'd won the race, but one man's meat is another man's poison, and here Anthony Torrey had such bad luck by to be unseated off this fellow at Cheltenham ends up with a win here, and what a good boost for him to go to the National with Docklands Express. He ran a good race, but there's no way he'd have beaten Arctic Call. And Kings Fountain, the 11-4 favourite in this Martell Cup, in which Anthony Torrey has written his 26th winner of the season and Kim Bailey has trained his 20